the motherfucking game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, let me, hold on, hold on. where's the bomb at? Where's the bomb? Sorry, I selected the wrong one. No crickets on this motherfucker. Just bombs. Yeah, he went in, man. He went on William Roberts. This is what I love. This is what I wanted. Call this cop out. Call him for what he is. William. Uh, anyways, uh, so Game dropped the diss track. We talked about this on the previous podcast episode where Game was calling out Rick Ross, right? Well, we got an official diss track. I ended up going to sleep, woke up in the morning to Game dissing Ross on a track called Freeway's Revenge. And I love this because this title, just breaking down the title for you guys, is referring to Freeway Rick Ross, the real Rick Ross, the one from California, the one that actually sold drugs, the one that is the real Rick Ross. That's really him. That's his name. He's not just some some fake William Roberts. He's not a CEO. It's him. And the artwork is fire too. It's Freeway Rick Ross with a bunch of drug dealers. I don't know who these other people are, but... Hey, they were moving bricks back in the days, right? So the whole backstory on, you know, this stuff is insane, man. I can't wait to do the documentary. I, I, I just been working on a lot of these breakdown stuff, but I got to get back to, uh, I was working on the Diddy $1 million hit. I was working on a bunch. So before, you know, once we get up with all this rap beef stuff over, I'll get back into that stuff. But I love this. And unfortunately, you know, it had to be the game. I actually would have loved somebody else to kind of clown Rick Ross more. I like Drake clowning him. Drake's got some clever lines towards him. He said, body after fucking body, you know, Rick, read my Miranda rights. I was like, oh, that's fucking hilarious, man. Uh, the CEO is definitely going to read your Miranda rights when he locks you up. So, uh, you know, I love this track, though. I mean, game is, you know, known for battling and stuff like that. So uh, let's go over it, man. Let's go over some of these bars. I, you know, listening to the track, I think it wasn't really mix and master properly, but I do like the switch, man. I like the beat that started at the beginning and the beat at the end. Uh, the two beat switch is really, really good. So let's go over some of these bars, man. And a lot of it was was pretty funny. And this is why I wanted the battle because both these guys are hilarious and they're both hilarious liars. They both know how to lie really, really well. So that's going to be entertaining, man. It's different between Drake and Kendrick because Kendrick, you don't really view as a liar. Right. And then Drake, you know, he doesn't really have the history of lying, but, you know, who knows about that. But these two, they got a history. They got a whole long history of just lying, of telling straight, bold faced lies. So it's funny. You know, when they lie, it's funny. But when it's a Drake and Kendrick thing, it's a little more serious. So let's go over these bars, man. Uh, verse one says, cut open his stomach and stuff bricks in it. Fucking fat motherfucker. Donut stuff him off. We got 24 donuts to respond. Uh, he said, put his body on a scale like fish in it. I can see a bitch in him. $20 million home renovation just to slit your wrists in it. Says, you, you miserable cop, you. Oh, my God. Suicide to suicide. Rip apart the Maybach. I know the truth's inside. Come on, man. <laughs> Maybach music. He, come on, man. Game's cooking this motherfucker. Listen, listen to what he says in the next line. He says, <laughs> you 12 lemon pepper wings away from a heart attack. That is hilarious. Shout out to lemon pepper wings, man. Shout out to Rick Ross for putting me on lemon pepper wings, though. I ain't going to lie. They're fire. There's this place here that got some wings, and it's honey lemon pepper. Really good, man. Uh, academics get this guy Ozempic started pack. Yeah, Ozempic is that weight loss drug that apparently even uh, Drake's using. Kai not hit the room, turn that stream on. Ask Buttons about his brief encounter with King Kong. By the way, Button did call game on his podcast, which was interesting. Uh, talk about the beef, and he basically said, hey, you can't duck me from this beef. But, um... Uh, this ain't Kendrick. This ain't the Kendrick beef. My Drake singing songs. That's hilarious. Uh, shots ring out. Your neighbor better have his ring on. Ring camera. Really nice. Uh, Glock swing out. Doors open like a swing arm. Pock lean out. Machiavelli with the ring on. I love game, man, when he gets to talking. I love his no, 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 no diddy, right? His voice is really good, man, when he gets aggressive. No, no diddy. Uh, ops is out. They on the same shit that we on. Hospital wheelchair head wrap sling on. It's payback punk for the drama you try to bring on. Yeah, William. You getting... Oh, I ain't going to say it, man. Maybach trunks type of shit we do a wing zone. <laughs> Shout out to game, man. Hilarious. <laughs> My K-Dot shit. I don't have to turn the beam on. Uh, it's that time of the month. Give this pussy something to bleed on. <laughs> Your baby mama told me that you'd like to get peed on. Whoa. 
Whoa, Ross. Whoa. What? And this is actually an article? No way. No way. I am I am in shock. I am in disbelief. I can't believe this fella would like to get peed on. This is crazy. So your baby mama told me that you like to get peed on. In a 2022 interview, Rick Ross was asked about his bedtime behaviors. He explained he wasn't a fan of eating ass, but is into peeing on women. What? All right, man, I'm not one to judge people's fetishes in the bed because, A, what you do in the bed, it should be private. It's what you like, but I don't get the fetishes of, like, pooping on somebody and peeing on somebody. I just will never, ever understand those fetishes. But, hey, it's not my job to understand it because I'm never going to get involved in any of that type of shit, you know. And I know people have fetishes with feet, which I'm like, okay, feet, they're nasty to me. I don't give a fuck. Now, some women, they can have they can have pretty, you know, painted toenails with some nice heels and their feet look, you know what, good. But I've never been a fan of feet. They stink. Come on, man. They touch the ground all the time. Like I Feet, I've not, never been a fan of. Um, whatever fetishes that people have, it's like, whatever, I respect it, but... Pooping and peeing, it's like next level. Just like, what, what is going on here? Like, why why do you get off on somebody peeing and pooping on you? Uh, so, Ross, I didn't know you were this this freaky. This is a freaky-ass CEO, man. This is a freaky-ass CEO. What the fuck? And there's a clip? No way. Why didn't this go viral? I didn't hear anything about this. William likes to get peed on? Damn, William. Damn, William. Let's play this clip. Like, Do you eat ass? Nah, I don't really have no taste for ass. Nah, nah, nah. That's I'm a, I'm not a, a vibe. Like nah. you can't develop a taste for eating ass. Like women like I'm that. I'm just letting you know. I know what I like, and I usually avoid the ass. I really? gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. You never had you even a even slip up. Nah, come on, Rose, slip up. You didn't. You it just ain't stuck even. Your tongue I'm in sure. There. I'm sure if that's what you did, you ain't slip up. True. So you ain't from ever, top to bottom is a long way. So you ain't never ate ass. I'm just letting you know it. That ain't a rosé thing right there. Okay. I, I, you know. I'm going to respect you, it. I don't like it, but I'm going to respect it. That's cool, too. but And I want you to respect me <laughs> peed on from your neck down. And if I splash your face. Yeah, this is some weird-ass shit, man. Very weird. Your baby mama told me that you like to get peed on. You a CO. That's the last time you had keys on. That's why I love games. Come on, man. This is why I love game. That is bars. Shout out to game, man. You a CO. That's the last time you had keys on. You know, a CO from the locked doors. You know, keys. You didn't really, you didn't really move weight. You didn't really move the drugs. Double entendre. Come on, man. Game, game delivers it in a funny way too, man. That's what you gotta respect. Because Ross goes with the persona that he's selling keys. He's moving this weight, but really. Last time you had keys on, you a correction officer. You never moved no damn weight, William. Come on, man. I love this, man. Uh, and we know you treat gunplay like you're a peon. Hey, man. Ross, you never addressed it, man. The elephant in the room, man. Talking like Chris Tucker. Elephant in the room. Ross got, I mean, gunplay got his chain snatched by 50. Y'all never got that chain back. Where's that chain? William, where is that chain? I'm speaking to your soul, William. I love this, man. I this this is to me, this is a better battle. I just no, I'm just I'm just, I'm trolling, okay? At that point, I love Drake and Kendrick. They're too good. They're, the lyrical ability of that is just obviously Ross can rap too, man. I'm not you know, I'm not denying his his ability, but games on it uh if you take if you take the corny shit out of both their lives, right? You just factor them as artists. Really great artist, really great, great battle that could happen. So, I mean, you know you treat Gunplay like a peon. And he, he knows some shit that ain't cool for him to speak on. My PO said, this ain't the record that we agreed on. <laughs> then cut it off like the ankle monitor for the beep on. My guys learn French just to get they steam on. In Cali with Calicos, don't need Khaled to get his scream on. Wow. <laughs> we the best. We the West, free the guys, I gotta free the West. I'm muy loco, I don't need a vest. Crazy, crazy. I'm watching Scarface and cleaning teeth, ECs. Shots gonna be direct. Have you been through Cedar yet? 
When the cars pull up, we do explosive and heaters checks. The light flick, the dogs bark, and guys sleeping less. Under palm trees, we get them choppers that'll eat your flesh. Now, this is where he goes in on him. I love this. The real Rick Ross know every bird got to leave the nest. Uh! Shout out to Game, man. Game can wrap his ass off, man. That's fire. Uh, you stole your name. I pulled your file. Facts. You looked at B.I.G. and stole his style. Facts. I smell pussy the odor foul. Facts. You ain't sold no birds. You troll the owl. Facts. Come on, man. Facts, facts, facts. What did Kendra say? You lied about that. You lied about it on the Meet the Grams. Come on, man. You should have said that. You should have followed that Kendra. You lied about being a drug dealer. You lied about all these things. Come on, bro. I love this, man. This is this is what I'm here for. I anything for going against William. Oh, you can count me in, man. Any oh, just call me, man. I'll be there to review it, to talk about it any any moment, anytime. Doesn't matter. Uh, verse two. This is where the beat switches, which is really cool. Draco flick is like the ladder on the Carter Four. Right? Bad kid, good city. I study the art of war. Shout out the game, man. Run into the hand-me-down mansion and lock up all the doors. Stop with all that raving. You're not from Baltimore. Shout out to Baltimore Ravens. I don't even watch the NFL, but fuck it. Uh, I don't want to hear no uh, I don't want to hear about no fish tanks and marble floors. Yeah, Ross, we're tired of that shit. Uh, no spiral steps, no swimming pools, no horse to yours, no automores, no car shows, no pinky rings, no umbrellas in your car doors. We're tired of that extravagant talk, Ross. And that's the way he responded to this shit, of course. Extravagant talk. He can't he can't rap. He can't rap. He can give it to Drake, but he can't talk to gang. Come on, man. I, my dream in this would just be 50 joining a game and just fucking this guy up. Come on, man. That would be... I just... Introduce me and my connect to the Colombian you chopped that raw for. Was it fabricated? The lies you tell are getting saturated. What happened to the birds in the Maserati, Ricky? They just evaporated. He didn't add that Ricky part as me. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. Boss, that shit be too exaggerated. Fucking with a Compton guy, get your head decapitated. Let it decapio, all that cap you activated. I just bought a 100-foot yacht. And it was captivating. <laughs> man, shout out to game, man. Congratulations with imagination. From a CEO to drug pin, now this guy acting Haitian. The stories these guys tell, he going to tell us he got a key for every guy he locked up in a cell. He going to tell us he just bought another crib he living well. But he won't tell us about his health condition. He's sick as hell. Come on, man. What a game say? What a game say? You 12 lemon pepper wings from a heart attack. You ain't doing good, Rose. Drop that shit. He popping pills. They starting to fuck with his brain. Caesar off the lean Balenciaga shorts got shit stains. That is disgusting. He not a mastermind. He got it line after line. Laid back in the Maybach making up shit just to pass the time. Hey, he does do that, man, on Instagram. I'm not going to cap. Uh, he think he big Meech, free Larry Hoover, Miami and big beach. Now, how I, now watch how I maneuver. I don't tippy-toe. I know plenty of those that pull up in semi-trucks, hop out, and let the semi go. Damn, game, you. I'm telling you, when you read these bars and you actually go over these lines, like, motherfucker spitting, man. Uh, so let me know. I let the boys and them drop the Chevys go. <laughs> it's humid in the 305, but they're pushing heavy snow. Ooh. Ooh. Scarface will be proud, man. Scarface will be. Tony Montana, you'll love this, man. Um, chop Compton Grim Reaper. I'll make you reap with the devil. So walking through LIV with the same eyes guys had in belly though. This ain't the new death row. This the old Harry. Yo Woo. game was one of them guys. Blue, Blue Da Vinci, Meech and Terry. No. So my advice is let it go. Oh, I almost forgot. Fuck Bel Air. It's West side. We the Henny flow. We let the Henny flow. Damn, you going after his company brands now too. So when that mezzle smoke and that thing hot, even when the camera's out of focus, just know that beam not. Oof. Run up on you, clean shots. Look down on you. Flash on the iPhone tapped to the ceiling with the screen locked. Hey, this cooked him. This next line, cooked, cooked. This guy drug women. That's how your team rock. And all that money you rap about, you're going to get you a mean plot. 
But in the meantime, I'm going to let you fake fiends cop. And I know you're doing your thing, Ak, but this is where the wings stop. Wow. Um, this guy drug women. You know, that's how your team rock. This is obviously, um, this is where, you know, Rick Ross, on you, you don't even know it. You put Pumali on the champagne. She didn't even know it. Took her home and enjoyed that. She didn't even know it. Game, you know, it, great line, right? But game is the wrong messenger. I mean, if we go over game's history, he's sexually assaulted, you know, women, uh, very young women. I'm not going to throw anything out there, but, you know, so it's a wrong messenger. He's got kind of a weird history as well. I'm just keeping it 100, keeping it fair. Not saying that, A, that he did all these things, but he's been, you know, he ducked the lawsuit, didn't want to pay for it. I get it, whatever. But Ross is weird for adding that lyric. That is a weird, like, think about it. You're rapping rhymes, and you you know this is a bar that's literally condoning rape, and you still write it and say it. So it's a, it's a, it's a weird thing, man, overall. Um, the game cooked him cooked him and what did rick ross do what does rick ross do best what does he do best he 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 puts this little louis vuitton ice cream and responds and makes fun of him so let's play the clip you niggas don't want to eat you niggas don't want to eat must not you're starving <laughs> you <niggas> are starving <laughs> Game responded said he wanted all the smoke a week ago. Chicken legs can't go bar for bar, so we're going Louis Vuitton for Louis Vuitton. Now, I guess I hate these rap guys. Game also said this. He posted the artwork to his song, and then in the caption he said, the serial killer uh, ducking this real smoke. And by the way, he put cereal like cereal, not like serial killer, people who kill people, but like cereal because he had a bowl, you know, cereal, so... Uh, ducking all the smoke scared to drop that nursery rhyme you recorded the other night i see lol fuck it a quick w for the home team and some real rap for the fans playlist posting very attainable cereal bowls bottled up dog piss and crouching by cars like that's gonna get you out of this ass whooping it ain't and for rap fans worldwide thing about most of these rap guys y'all idolize is they pick and choose who they diss very carefully end of the day all the guys in this shit know what I'm capable of, especially when it's time to go bar for bar. The real Rick Ross, a.k.a. Freeway Ricky, this one was for you, big homie. So shout out to Game for that. Salute, but that's fire. And as for chicken legs, you can't whip my ass or outwrap me. So post all the cars and fake watches you want to. The real fans see through you and that wide back music shit. Wide back. That is hilarious. Uh, you can't run from the shit. Shit, you can't run, period. Human Capri Sun pouch body shaped guy. <laughs> you that is human Capri Sun pouch. Uh, that's hilarious. But yeah, people are clowning game and saying he's he's clout chasing and you know why is he getting involved in this? But hey man, Ross jumped into this Kendrick and Drake beef. And people are saying, well, Quake, this is what happened. This is why it wasn't, it was really Drake first. What happened was Rick Ross unfollowed Drake. Drake took that as disrespect. So Drake flew out his ex-girl to his concert. Then Rick Ross took it to the next level. It could have ended there for trolling. He unfollowed. Maybe some shit happened behind the scenes. Drake flies out the ex. It's, it's Ross's ex, by the way. So he should be over this shit. It's his ex. But he did that. What did Ross do? Record himself on Instagram video bumping like that. At that point, clear as day, you want to go against Drake. Drake gave you some bars. You drop whatever champagne moments, whatever the fuck that record was. You're clout chasing. Simple as that. And Drake cooked you in a couple bars. Um, so saying game is clout chasing, it's like, bro, everybody's inserting themselves to shit because they want the controversy. Look at Kanye. Drop like that remix. Everybody was hyped for it for about a day, and then everybody just kind of moved on, which good. People will insert themselves to, like, the Drake and Kendrick thing. Stay out of it. That's them too. They've been brewing for a minute. But if, if side beefs are starting like this with Game and Ross, I'm all for it, man. These two are funny as hell. So I'm all for it, man. Shout out to Game. Delivered bars, whooped his ass, and fire record, man. I've been enjoying it for a minute now. So shout out to Game. We'll see if Ross decides to 
actually respond and not just respond on Instagram video clips, man. It's going to look bad for him if he doesn't. So uh, we'll keep our eyes posted.